Now, the Punjab power struggle ended after the Congress party decided to make Charanjit Singh Channi the new chief minister of Punjab. He was first elected in the state assembly in 2007. He has won three consecutive elections from Chamkor Sahib area. Let's take a quick look at his political journey so far. The challenger who led the front against Captain Amrinder Singh. आज हालात ये है कि इस मुख्यमंत्री नाल साढे मसले हाल नहीं हो रहे इस कार के ऐसी केंद्र सरकार में मिलने जा रहे हैं। Has finally clenched the reins of the five river state। गवर्नर साहब ने 11 बजे सौ चक्कर दा टाइम दिता है। After days of power struggle, मैं अगले साल 20 साल राजनीति दे विच काम करूं जान ली दूं, लेकिन जब तुष्य मैंने निर्णय नहीं लिया ना होंगे। and an unceremonious ouster. Three months ago or two months ago, whenever it was, uh, all the MLAs were called and MPs were called to give their views on the functioning of the government and uh, on the functioning of the Chief Minister. Chalo, once you've done it, then you're called again a second time to Delhi. And then now they call a CLP meeting to decide what to do in the CLP leadership. I mean, that is a complete case of uh, no confidence in your chief minister. And that for me, when I work very hard and I've done a lot for my state, is a case of humiliation. The Punjab power struggle has ended with the historic elevation of Charanjit Singh Channi, Punjab's first Dalit chief minister since independence. North India, Dalit चीफ मिनिस्टर नहीं बना तो इस फैसले से कांग्रेस पार्टी ने यह भी साबित किया है कि यह पार्टी जो है वो प्रो दलित पार्टी है इलेक्टेड टू द पंजाब असेंबली फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन 2007 चन्नी अ दलित सिख फ्रॉम रामदासिया कम्युनिटी हैड प्रूवन हिज मेटल इन द पॉलिटिकल अरेना विनिंग थ्री कंसेक्यूटिव इलेक्शंस फ्रॉम चमकौर साहिब चरणजीत सिंह चन्नी हैज बीन एक्यूजिंग his own government of meting out stepmotherly treatment to his community. He has cited various examples while criticizing Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh, saying that various bureaucrats who belong to Dalit communities were not being given plum posts. The promotions were being denied to the people which belong to his community. He has also raised the issue of Reservation rosters, which was not being followed by the then Punjab government. Channi is a tried and tested Congress leader who earlier held multiple portfolios in his predecessor Amrinder's cabinet. He was also the leader of opposition in the 14th Punjab Assembly. The Congress leader has had his own shares of past controversies and now faces future challenges. The Chief Minister designate Charanjit Singh Chani has been a controversy's favorite child in the past. One of the past controversies still haunts him. This is in fact a two-year-old Me Too case which is still active and State Women's Commission has sought a report from the Punjab government. Running a government in the fag end of Punjab Congress government's tenure will not be a cakewalk for Chani who is facing various challenges. With five months to go before 2022 polls, can Channi play a long innings or be a mere stopgap arrangement? With Manjeet Sehgal in Chandigarh, Bureau Report, India Today. Now, Charanjit uh, Channi is the new Chief Minister of Punjab. He has multiple challenges ahead of him. I'm going to cut across to Akshita, taking us through those challenges that he'll have to focus on if he wants success in his term. So here's a look at all the challenges that Charanjit Singh Chani, who just took oath, faces now. The number one challenge is very clearly the Congress in fighting and factionalism. Can Chani actually manage to unite the Congress ahead of the elections? Still a big question mark on that one. There's also the issue of Captain Amrinder Singh going very vocal in public about the fact that he's upset, that he's been humiliated, as he stated. So will he manage to also assuage Captain Amrinder Singh? 
AAP is making inroads in Punjab. So this is not going to be a walk in the park for the Congress in the election. They have to deal with the Ababi party challenge. They also have to deal with the Akali Dal challenge, who've been very aggressive, really, out on the streets of Punjab, taking up the farm laws issue. And that's another challenge that the Congress faces, that the farmers in Punjab have been agitating for the last one year over the farm reforms. Drug menace is rampant in Punjab. Now, the Amrinder government has been accused time and again of ignoring this issue. Will Chandni manage to address this is still a question. Now, we've also been seeing huge issues with regards to national security in Punjab of drone threats with increasing drone activity being reported from Pakistan into India. That's a big concern as well. There's also going to be some likely, uh, you know, problems with the Jat Sikhs. Captain Amrinder was a Jat Sikh. And with him being replaced, this community could be miffed. They make up about 18% of Punjab's population. So that's a big problem as well. And finally, Chani is taking over at a very important time for the Punjab Congress with just five months to go for the elections. It will be left up to him to turn the narrative around for the Punjab Congress from infighting and factionalism to focus on governance. Well, there you have it. These are the challenges that Chani will have to face at a time when the Congress is already looking at hectic infighting, which the Congress leadership, the senior leadership, will now have to douse. <laughs> Now, big controversy over revelations by the Congress itself that Charanjit Singh Channi may just be a stopgap arrangement for Sidhu to take over the mantle. Congress Punjab in charge, Hari Shravat's comments here that the upcoming polls will be fought under the leadership of Punjab Congress Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu has now sparked a massive row. It gave fresh ammunition to the Bhatia Janta Party to corner the Congress over alleged insult to a Dalit face. BJP's IT cell head Amit Malviya has tweeted, and I quote, this is a huge insult to the entire Dalit community if Taranjit Singh Channi has been made the Chief Minister, only to hold the seat for Navjot Singh Sidhu, the chosen Gandhi family loyalist. This completely undermines the Dalit empowerment narrative being peddled by the Congress. Shame. Meanwhile, BSP Chief Mayawati has also called Channi's elevation as a sham, called it a poll time gimmick for Dalit votes. Former Punjab Congress Chief Sunil Jhakar has in fact termed Rawat's statement on Channi as baffling adding that it is likely to undermine the Chief Minister's authority and it also negates the very reason behind Channi's selection as the next Chief Minister of Punjab. Now let's quickly cut across to what exactly Harish Rawat had said that sparked this controversy, speaking of how Channi is going to be taking oath but Sidhu will be leading the fight. मुख्यमंत्री मंत्रिमंडल के साथ ही सब प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमेटी के नेतृत्व में चुनाव लड़ेंगे आगे बढ़ेंगे और प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमेटी के अध्यक्ष श्री सिद्धू हैं जिनकी लोकप्रियता बहुत अधिक है श्री चरण जीत सिंह चन्नी को सबसे पहले मैं हार्दिक बधाई एवं शुभकामनाएं देती हूं लेकिन यह बेहतर होता है कि यदि कांग्रेस पार्टी पहले ही इनको पूरे पांच वर्ष के लिए यहाँ का मुख्यमंत्री बना देती किंतु अब कुछ ही समय के लिए इनको पंजाब का मुख्यमंत्री बनाना तो इससे तो ये लगता है कि ये केवल इनका कोरा चुनावी हथकंडा है इसके सिवाय कुछ भी नहीं है कांग्रेस पार्टी यहाँ अकाली दल व बीएसपी के बने गठबंधन से काफ़ी ज़्यादा घबराई हुई है और मुझे ये पूरा भरोसा है कि पंजाब के दलित वर्ग के लोग भी इनके इस हथकंडे के बहकावे में कतई भी नहीं आने वाले हैं इनको व अन्य विरोधी पार्टियों को भी मुसीबत में ही या फिर मजबूरी में ही दलित वर्ग के लोग केवल इन्हें याद आते हैं अगर तो कांग्रेस आज ये डिक्लेयर करती है कि आगे जो इलेक्शन होगी 2022 की वो चन्नी साहब की अध्यक्षता में लड़ी जाएगी यही चेहरा होगा आगे भी तो फिर तो पता चलेगा कि कितना को उनको इज्जत दी गई है कितनी को इज्जत दी गई नहीं तो वरना तो सारी राजनीति पंजाब की जनता समिति कोशिश यही है कि कांग्रेस की हाईकमांड को बचाया जाए
Now let's get some political reactions here on the Congress infighting before the swearing-in ceremony even began, lashing out at the Congress leadership for insulting the Dalit community. Here are those reactions from the BJP. This is the internal matter of the Congress party. But at the same time, uh, now the truth is out in the open that uh, all this uh, saying that, you know, we have selected a Dalit leader... But in actual, it is Navjot Singh Sidhu, whose name is coming out, and under his leadership, the elections would be contested. That is what Mr. Rawat has said. So just want to say this, that, you know, the Congress today is like a rudderless ship, be it Punjab or in the country. And, uh, you know, they have no love loss for the community of the scheduled caste. It is only for their own political gain. You know, we knew this and we said that yesterday morning that Mr. Chanik should not be humiliated uh, as being used as a pawn just to placate Mr. Siddhu's uh, ego because Mr. Siddhu didn't want either Captain Amanda Singh or any other big case in the Congress to be the CM. We want the, uh, the Congress party and we want the people of Punjab against the Dalit state being misused and abused to fulfill the egos and designs of these leaders uh, like Mr. Siddhu. And we are repeating it today. What Mr. Yakha has said, you know, has really let the cat out of the bag. This will be the first time in the history of Punjab that a sitting CM will be told that he is not going to be the CM phase after a certain date. So are you are you respecting the Dalit sentiment or are you humiliating it? That's the point.